Robert Muller determined to have the last word during his first and only appearance about an inquiry that plagued President Trump. It is important that the office's written work speak for itself. But for many, it didn't. Mueller's 448-page report into allegations the Trump campaign colluded with Russia over the 2016 election and that Trump himself obstructed justice had merely raised questions, particularly Mueller's ambiguous conclusion that his report did not exonerate Trump. So this was an opportunity for Mueller to clarify that himself, and he chose to double down. If we had had confidence that the president clearly did not commit a crime, we would have said so. We did not, however, make a determination as to whether the president did commit a crime. But Trump shot back on Twitter. Nothing changes from the Mueller report. There was insufficient evidence, and therefore, in our country, a person is innocent. While Mueller found no evidence of collusion, he was unequivocal about Russian attempts to influence the election. There were multiple systematic efforts to interfere in our election. And that allegation deserves the attention of every American. For opposition Democrats looking to Mueller as the man who could bring down Trump, there was disappointment. Mueller is now resigning as special counsel and insists that if he does testify before Congress, he won't talk about anything that isn't in his report. And yet Democrats say that by refusing to exonerate Trump, Mueller is giving them license to pursue their own inquiry against the president and potentially impeach him. Owen Fairclough, CGTN. Washington.